Hi everyone, it's the Gopher back again. This is the second of my videos. This one here is called Modding 101 and it's a, a nice easy show and tell on how to put some files into your Minecraft jar and then start the program and make sure it runs. Now on the last video that I made I showed you how to download your files, where to find the mod and the support files. So let me just bring up my directory with the mine in. Now you'll only have a couple hopefully. Um, you might even have directories inside your hard drive of each mod and the pieces that it needs. I just keep everything in one because um, I'm pretty used to it now. So don't forget these support files are mods. Anything that modifies your game is a mod. So um, please don't post on my forums and tell me that these aren't support files, they're mods. I know. So, what we'll do is we'll start with the mod loader. Don't forget you need to get the latest version or what you're told to get on the original post of the mods. So, open this, it will tell you all, show you all the files that you need. And on here we'll do the same, open Minecraft. Now before we move anything, there, there was, I've actually taken out of here, a folder over here called MetaInf. Now you need to get rid of that because it stops mods from running properly. Uh, many times you'll see posts in the forums where people will say, hey, uh, your mod sucks mate, every time I load it I get a black screen, it never works. Just to find that they've still got their meta inf folder in here. You need to delete that, get rid of it, it's, it stops mods from running. So, here we have a whole bunch of files. Now sometimes you'll find that there's also some folders in here. I'll show you in the next one because that actually does, this one doesn't. So this piece here is the base or the root of the of the, the program of the uh, file and these are the folders. So in here there's no folders so you don't need these folders. You'll highlight all of that, drag it across into the root directory, click OK and that's it. That's really how simple it is to throw things in. Now that was a nice easy one because it was just base directory stuff into base directory stuff. So that was the first mod done. Now the second one we'll need is tool utils. So two tool utils. Now this one's got two folders in and some people start to get panicky when they see folders. Now in these you'll find a readme file. Please read it. This one is easy. It just tells you that the source. If you see one with source in it, unless you're a modder or you want to pull the, 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 um, the mod to pieces, don't need to touch that. So jar, that's where we are, Minecraft jar. Just open the jar file and again a whole heap of class files. Drag and drop them into there. Let it go. Done. That's it. So that was tool utils. We also need property reader. This one's just one file. So drag and drop that in. That's three that we need. And, oh, excuse me just one second, I can't remember what the fourth one's. The fourth one, more blocks. Okay, now a lot of programs that have um, quite a lot of new things that it's adding to your game, there's only a certain amount of um, IDs in, in the game itself. So you'll find a lot of the times that the more block IDs um, is one of the um, pieces that you need to make the program run. That just adds some extra blocks on so they don't run out. Now, same again, this is because it's by the same person. Don't use the source. Open the jar, it's just two class files. Drag and drop them in, and that's it. You've now got all of the support files for more ores. Now the best thing that I do now is I close that, and I'll then run Minecraft, just to make sure, now I won't connect to the internet because there is an update coming soon, and we'll just run it and make sure that it doesn't black screen okay there we go and that really does mean there isn't a problem you can do one more which is go in and create a new world and just have a look to make sure that the program itself actually runs um, but usually when you get past that first one there isn't any problem just with support files it's usually only with um, mods that come in that sometimes let the program run but then when you actually start the game itself um, it can crash as you start to move or look around so that all seems to be working fine um, that's how you put in your support files 
and the reason why I'm not going to take you through putting in the actual mod itself is because I'm going to be having one video for every mod because a generic video is not going to work here there's many different ways and many different things and many different parts to each of the mods that can be very different from another one so knowing how it works is not enough you need to know how each particular one works so I'll go through them one by one so I'll leave you there and um, thanks very much for watching and it's me signing out and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.